<laughs> in our last tutorial, what we did is we got this guy to walk. So we'll just uh, show him walking. And in this tutorial, we're going to just give him a little bit more animation. And what we're going to do is going to animate his arms and his body a little bit. So what we're going to do is going to get his arm here. And we're going to say move to frame 12 and move his arm back. Move to frame 24. Move his arm forward. And then what we'll do is we'll get these ones here, copy them and paste them. And let's see when he ends. He ends pretty much maybe where we wanted to. So we'll go to the next arm. And when it starts off, probably his arm would be behind his body when he's walking. So we'll move to 12 and we'll move it to the front. And what we can do is highlight these guys here with a left mouse button and copy and then move here and paste. And paste. And then we'll just see where he ends up. And that one works out pretty good too. That's probably because we got something. Oh, yeah, because we got here, it goes up and he stays up. So that's, you kind of get the idea. So uh, let's have a look here. And it looks like he's going good. Now, I mean, in proper animation, you probably kind of get the legs and the arms try to go together, but we don't really care here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, animate the body a bit. So what we're going to do is maybe uh, come over here and rotate him. And we can rotate him. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. And let's find out where a good axis point is. So let's get in more in the middle of his body, I think. So when he rotates, let's see. Yeah, that's better. So then we'll move him here. And let's, yeah, maybe let's do it every 18. Like that. Remember my high school math here. Yeah, that looks about right. And we'll just straighten him up for the end. And what we'll do is we'll get this one here and we'll just copy it. And we'll, it's about frame 60, he stops. So we'll paste that. So he ends up in the right spot. So let's bring him back and let's see how he looks. And you can see he's got a slight gait and you might want to have made it the, uh, the rotations a little bit earlier, a little bit less spaced apart. But you know, this guy's got a little bit more uh, feeling. He's got a little bit more motion. And I think that looks really good. So we're going to leave it there and we'll see you in the next tutorial.